This is absolutely amazing. This is exactly what is needed to give these students a competitive edge and to get them prepared for what they will be doing. It gives the young members of AIAA an outlet to basically show their creativity, show their engineering ability. They will learn more from this than they can imagine. We have 77 teams here, and we have 77 different airplanes. We have computer engineers, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, aerospace engineers. We've had schools without engineering programs. Design Build Fly is important because it's fundamentally about giving the students an opportunity to go through a design process with real life design requirements, actually building it, and then testing it and putting that back into the design and the build process. We have designed it to be uh, like uh, real airplanes and take uh, a lot of passengers. We are going to carry uh, around 16 passengers and four payloads. Using a random process, we draw the number of passengers they get, and they have to figure out how to accommodate those different sizes. This year, we decided to use uh, super balls or bouncy balls, because you can get them in various sizes. We definitely went with uh, dual props, as you can see on the plane, um, for extra power so that we can kind of chop through the winds a little bit easier. We went for a conventional design, mostly because none of us had ever manufactured a plane before. So we tried to go for something that we knew we'd be able to do, something not too complicated. We built our plane pretty much trying to carry the most amount of passengers and having one of the most efficient designs. I feel like our airplane, as far as uh, being functional, is one of the top airplanes here uh, at the competition. One of the things that we noticed was the wind. I think the cutting edge that we have on our plane was precisely that, that it could handle a little bit more gusts. And then it all came down to building something as small as possible, but big enough for the pilot to see. We felt pretty good going in, but this year was <laughs> we, we underestimated the competition level of everyone else. It's really cool to see some people taking on the approach of small plane going for the good RAC versus people going with a huge plane that can carry tons of passengers. It's, it's really cool to see what everybody comes up with, and it's blown my mind. <laughs> About 24 years ago, myself and some folks had this idea that wouldn't it be nice if AIAA had a design build fly type of competition to have this type of you know, real world build and fly experience. DBF is really unique because every single year the rules change. You have to you know, constantly improve, change, try to try different things, um, which is you know, what engineering is all about really. I've been involved from day one and I'm here because the students are here. It's an awesome learning event for them. It's start to finish within a year of a full design challenge. We've been doing this almost as long as this contest has been around. We heard about this one about a year after it started, and we're like, hey, like rules change every year, something new to design, and we thought we'd give it a shot, and we've been doing it ever since. I've been involved uh, 12 years now, one of the sponsors, and within a few years, I was hooked. One of the biggest reasons the event stays popular is, is because we challenge the students like they don't get challenged anywhere else. We learn skills through DBF that we don't learn in our degree. It gives us a practical, hands-on experience that you just don't get in the classroom. It's fantastic to see uh, hundreds of young AIAA members who were totally into this idea of creating their own airplanes and then flying it in this competition. We have so many good universities here and we wanted to see what a university from our country could come here and do. And we learned everything about teamwork, communication, and what it takes to be successful in a competition. Competing in the AIAA DBF is, is absolutely worth it, and it transitions right into the real world, right into the job force, and, and we've seen that time and time again. The successful DBF uh, alumni are successful in the, in the workplace. It allows students to get introduced to industry experts. It allows industry experts to find students in recruiting. Students that come out of Design Build Fly, when they put this on their resume, it sends the very clear signal to their potential employers that these people have actually done real hands-on work. It's good to know that the industry believes in the students and it's good for the students to be able to interact with the industry. The reason we volunteer for this program is because of the success that we see. I always tell students about DBF and what an impact it can make for their future careers. 
DBF is, is pretty amazing because it was started by just a small group of people who had a vision. It's like they wanted to provide a, a good experience for these college students to get them hooked into our industry. Keep trying to get here, it's a great experience. The airplanes that we fly on in 20 or 30 years will be designed by these kids. I think that, of course, it's more than worth. It's not just like the money you invest, the amount, the time you invest, what you get in return is like quadruple times of what you've given. Walking around and seeing all the rest of these planes and getting to talk to other teams, it like reminds you that it, that it really is like a greater community of engineers. You can't leave without having your faith in the future of aerospace restored because it's a fantastic group of, uh, of kids, of young people, and they're as excited about aerospace and aviation as my generation was when we were coming up.